knows what the calendar will look like in 2027. Yeah. Oh, that said, um, I do think that we're getting closer to re- um, to like not regionalizing the calendar, but like um, having more flexibility having in the variety. calendar and, and yeah, having a little bit more variety, which we talked about a few episodes ago. Um, I think it was in, in the episode uh, um, where we also talked about Lewis Hamilton waking up, choosing violence and turning February 1st into um, April Fool's um, personal hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, so there there are rumors that F1 is in talks to bring back the Turkish Grand Prix. Um, and basically, in order to like make these things happen, it would have to make a transformation in the Formula One schedule where some years you go to some races and some years you don't. And you'll probably have like a core amount of races that you go to every year, like, you know, Monaco, Australia, Spa, to, to name a few potential, you know, Monza um, would be ones that would stick to the calendar, Silverstone. Um, but then, you know, one year we go to Turkey, one year maybe we go back to Malaysia and Sepang, please. Um, you know, one year we go to South Africa. Um, and so I, I like, I really like the idea of opening up Formula One to going to more different locations than just like the same 24 tracks. Yeah, it expands the fan base too. Like I know we exactly talked about like India maybe coming back, and you know if you expand it to all of these countries, you get more local pull, you get more local buy in, and it's easier I think for some of these smaller countries to host an F one race once every four years versus every single year because hosting yeah. a race every year is a lot. So, like, I know we used to come to Argentina. There was an Argentina Grand Prix a long time ago. Um, And so some of these other countries who used to host Grand Prix, you know, maybe they get a shot again. And we get to see them race in different places. It makes the season exciting because it's not the same races over and over. Um, I I like that idea a lot. I know they've been talking about it specifically for, like, Europe because there's so many European races but yeah. I'd like to see the variety like worldwide globally with maybe like your seven or eight that you go to every single year. Yeah, exactly. And it also would make sense, you know, the, the, the rumors of the Chicago Grand Prix, like, are they really going to bring four Grands Prix to the United States? No. I mean, maybe, but also, you know, we can rotate between Vegas, Miami um, and, and Chicago. I think that Kota should be a mainstay, but that's just I do because too. I, think I hope that they don't Kota get rid is of the Kota. best American race. Yeah, yeah it, it's it. it's one of the best. It's one of the most accessible. Obviously, Miami and Vegas will become more accessible as the years go by, but Kota they is just though. like Vegas, probably not. Um, but Kota is just like it's the quintessential American race, and it's also the most accessible to American fans. So yeah. it, it it has an important place on the calendar. Honestly, Mexico City might be more accessible to, <laughs> to American fans. You're probably not wrong. Um, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll eventually. I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot of changes coming in the next few years to schedules, teams, things like that. So it's always exciting to look forward to. Yeah. 